Hi, Mr. Z here from Montessori Pod. So in today's text discovery, we're going to use, be using Tinkercad to create a mouse. So let's get started. This is what it should look like. So I'm going to um, put it aside as a reference and we will start building, building it from scratch, okay? So now we'll start like last week, we will start with its body. So the, um, the body is actually an egg. So last week we created a penguin with the body being an egg stand up like this. So this week, the mouse, we're gonna lay it flat by spinning it 90 degrees. And we're going to put it actually underground, right? So half of the egg is, it's below the, um, the level, the pain level, right? So now first, this is a new technique that you need to learn. It's called cutting. What we would do is pull out this box over here, okay? So, but what we want, what we're trying to do is cut out the bottom part of this, of this egg here. So we're going to put it under ground and then move it there to cover the entire egg. So it's been over here. Okay, so now we're covering it. Okay, so once we have this, what we're going to do is we're going to select both the egg and the empty box by drawing a box outside both and then hit this group button. Okay, so now, oh, I miss cutting a little bit. So because of that, I'm going to hit undo. Okay, so the box is not big enough, so we'll, we'll make it bigger. So as to cover, all right, we'll make it this way bigger. Wait. <laughs> all right, we're gonna make it thicker. There, okay. And then we'll load it. So yeah, it should now cover the entire egg. Now a little, a little bit too big. Don't mind. Okay, so this double check is covering the entire egg. So now I'm gonna group them. Draw a big box, group. Okay, so now that's the uh, body of the, of the mouse. Let's pick a color. Okay, doesn't matter what color you pick. Okay, so next we will work on, um, we'll work on the um, chicken feet. <laughs> uh, even though it's a mouse, we'll be using chicken feet. So put it in here, kind of see it a little bit, right? The leg a little bit. Put it inside, yep, so you kind of see the leg. Not quite, All right? So we'll make a copy, spin it. So using this, we'll spin, and then make it there as second. And then we make another, whoops, make another copy. Make sure I'm selecting the feet. So hang on, let me do this first. Okay. Spin, let me put them out a little bit so that, and then the last one, the front. Okay. All right, so this, you see a tiny bit here. So I'm gonna make it lower, okay? So now we have feet. Oh. Yep, we have feet. Okay, next, let's build the head. The head, 
it's the circle, right? It's a sphere, okay? Um, put it here, now make it bigger. Now, another key here is when you want to um, enlarge the sphere, when you just pull this, it's going, it becomes a weird shape, right? So here we want it to be a sphere, remain a sphere. So to do that on the keyboard, you hold the shift key. And as you do this, your sphere will always be a sphere. It won't change shape. Okay, so now we want to make sure it's in the right location. Um, let's put it up a little bit. Right. Okay, so that's where that should be. Same color. Okay, next. We'll do eyes, eyes, okay. We'll put two eyes, so we'll build it here. Make it smaller. Again, hold the shift button so it remains a sphere. Um, the outside of the eye and then the inside of the eye. So this is sm even smaller, right? So something like that. Maybe, yeah, that way, okay. We'll make it black. Okay, so that's one eye. We will again group them so that when we move, we move the whole eye. Oh, uh, this is another trick there. Um, you can't actually group them because when you group them, they become a single color. So, but we can still copy them together. So now we have two eyes. We'll move the eyes in place. Okay, maybe put them out a little bit. Yeah, this can look too much out. All right, I think that looks pretty good. That's another eye. Okay, over here now, and then put it up. You know, always have to check perspective because in a 3D environment, checking perspective is very important. Now I can see from the shadow that it's like too much out here. So I'd spin it over here so that I can move it back. Okay, so now it's kind of there, just too high. So. Lower it. Ah. So I need to make sure I'm selecting both both shapes, the entire eye. Okay, so now yeah, well, let's be so yeah, when dealing with 3D. Right, so okay. That's good. Or maybe you don't want the eye to look like to the side. I mean, let's move this over here. <laughs> All right, you get the idea. Okay, so next, quickly make a nose. We'll do the red nose, red nose mouse. Okay, and oops. Uh, find the right location and then move it up. There, okay. Now, um, now the whisker, okay. Even though the whisker not look nothing like a sphere, it actually was shaped from a sphere. So we're using a lot of spheres in this build. What we do is we kind of mesh it like this, mesh it. Right, so now that is one little whisker, okay. We will do three. Another one. Okay, what we'll do is we'll spin it up, move. Right. 
Okay. Oh, I'll move the whole thing up a little bit so that we can see it. Copy another one. Now this one. We want to spin down, okay? A little bit lower. Okay. Back up. All right. So, right. Okay. So let's see how it looks if we move it over into the face. <laughs> All right. Okay, so again, I'm gonna copy it. So now I have this. What I'm going to do is flip this 180 degrees and then paste it over here. All right, okay. Well, what we're missing here is the years. Now, this is the hardest thing to build. Um, the year looks like a bowl, but we don't have a bowl. Well, actually, there's a year in the in the shape, but I want to show you how to do um, how to do this technique. So what we do, it will cut out the inside of the of the half sphere by making a copy, okay, and then making this side a little bit smaller. So again, hold your shift key and then make it a tiny bit smaller. Now, once you have that, you want to kind of overlap the two. All right, I'll zoom in a little bit so I can see better. All right, okay. So you, you see there's a small one, smaller than the outside one. Now what we want to do is turn the inside into empty space. Once you have that, you highlight them both and group them. It now becomes a bowl, okay? So with this, we're gonna copy. There's our two years. So now you just to move them in place. <laughs> this is a little bit uglier than what I just produced a little while ago, okay? But, okay, every time it's different, this is art. All right. Over here. Huh. All right. Okay. <laughs> Maybe the eyes are too big, that's why it looks a little bit odd, right? Well, never mind. Um, we'll finish it with the tail. Now the tail, we're actually using something, it wasn't meant to be a tail, but it looks like a tail. It's a spring. It's actually an engineering part. That's okay. We'll just spin it over here. Uh, try to put it in. Kind of, so you see the little part of it, right? Make it slightly smaller. Yep, so it's, uh, it looks like a tail. All right, so there you have it. It's a mouse. Um, it's quite easy to build. And what you learn here in this build is cutting, is um, using empty space to cut out from a, from a shape, okay? All right, again, I'm Mr. Z from Montessori Pod. And um, you can look for us at montessoripot.org. Thank you.